All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the Eyes Open Media page. I usually don't show the the front of the page, but I wanted to. I want to do. I want to start doing it a lot more. I know I don't do it every video that I do, but I want to make sure people know that this is the Eyes Open Media page. Okay, uh, front of the page. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. We'd like to have you aboard the Eyes Open Media crew. Uh, our main channel is Currency 365, and that's Currency 365 crew. Uh, you can subscribe over there as well. Um, earlier today, I posted the uh, video. Here from News BTC, also Crypto Gamers video was posted here, and then also Kenneth Story. So now I'm doing my video as well, and uh, so yeah, so you guys uh, can come over here and uh, hang out with us on on uh, Eyes Open Media, and we're growing. As you can see, we're get, we're going towards 5,000 subscribers, and it looks like we're you know if we continue the pace that we're on, by the end of the year we'll be at 5,000 subscribers. So that's pretty good for this channel. Um, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's get into the breaking news here. It says issuing arrest warrants against the president and members of the commission supervising the referendums. Oh, wow. Now, remember, the federal court told them not to do the referendums. So I, I guess this was expected because they did tell them not to do the referendum, but it is what it is. It doesn't mean that they're going to actually be arrested, but it is a big, you know, it is a big deal to actually go ahead and announce that to the world. Um, Alru uh, Safa uh, Investigations Court on Wednesday issued arrest warrants for the president and uh, the members of the Kurdistan Regional Commissions. Now, mind you that these people, these investigation courts, are sending out arrest warrants for the, for them because of the uh, the referendum voting that they did, but they're not sending out arrest warrants for Barzani being illegally the president of of the Kurdistan region. His term is up. He knows his term is up, and he they didn't. It, nobody in Iraq and around the world has not issued any arrest warrants for a body to be. I mean, to a uh, Barzani to be removed from that president position that he holds illegally. They haven't had an elections. Uh, his term has been up and they, they don't, they don't hold, they don't send an arrest warrant for that, but they send an arrest warrant for voting yes or no for referendums. <laughs> okay. So, you know what I mean? Um, very interesting. Okay. So it says, uh, they, they, they issued arrest warrants, uh, against the president and the members of the commission supervising, uh, the referendums in the Kirchner region. Okay, and it says, uh, and that's from the uh, spokesman from the uh, Supreme Judicial Council. Uh, the order was issued by a bias of a complaint uh, submitted by the National Security Council against the background of holding the referendum contrary to the decision of the federal Supreme Court. So because they disobeyed the federal Supreme Court, that gave them the right to issue an arrest warrant for the uh, Brzani, President Brzani, and the guys that were actually in charge of the uh, com uh, the referendums. Now, in my opinion, I don't know what's going to, I don't know if they're going to arrest Berzani or not, or, or the commissions. If if they're going to arrest anybody, it'll probably be the, the guys that were responsible for running the the uh, referendum commission. I don't know. I don't know if anything's going to happen out of this. I think it's just a scare tactic, but we'll see if, if they get arrested or not. I don't know. Um, it says court issued an arrest warrant against the defendants in accordance with Article 329 of the penal code okay so arrest warrants have been issued um now if Brzani and those guys are in the Kurdistan region ain't no police officers or ain't nobody in the in the Kurdistan region going to arrest a Brzani in my opinion and you know, I, I that would be shocking to see you arrested because you wouldn't have, you probably won't have a job after you arrested him right so and they'll probably burn your whole family I mean these people are evil so they'll probably destroy your whole family so what police officer or security guard will think will go. Oh, there's a arrest warrant out for Brazani and these guys. Let me go get them. Knowing that these guys are powerful and evil, and uh, if you did something like that, um, you'd probably be dead. I mean, they, they, his, his Brazani's own security guard will probably kill you. <laughs> okay. Um, and then second of all, they'll probably torture your rest of your family while you, you know, they'll they'll have your name and everything, and then the rest of the Brazani family will go and basically uh, you'll never see your family ever again. So uh, it's a lot of consequences if you mess with the Brzezani family uh, in the curse. Now, if they want to arrest him if he's outside of the curse and region, like in Iraq or something like that, then that's a little bit different, in my opinion. Um, 
Okay, so it says, uh, this evening a meeting of the Kurdish parties to discuss the return of change in the Islamic group of the parliament and of the territory. Okay, I'm not sure what that's really about. Okay, one minute, let me see here. Uh, the three parties will meet this evening to discuss their resumption of the participation of the blocks of change of the Islamic group uh, of the meeting of the parliamentary uh, parliament and Kurdish. Okay, so... The fact that Parliament is actually having meetings and and uh, the Kurds is actually the Kurds are actually having meeting in the, in their own Parliament uh, is 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 a uh, good news or is this a Baghdad Parliament? No, I'm not sure. Nope, it's, it's uh well it says right here Kurdistan Parliament. Uh, okay, so that's good news that they're actually even having meetings in their own Parliament because they <laughs> they 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 have they've only met a few times in in, in a few years. Um. The start of attacks against uh, the sites of Dash and Western Armbar. And look, look at the title. The title says the attacks, uh, the start of attacks. Yet the last five weeks we've been talking about the attacks in Western Armbar. And Armbar. But yet this title says the start of the attacks <laughs> in Western Armbar. Okay, and, and Qayyim and Rawa. And they can't even spell Rawa right. They go Rawa. <laughs> okay, it's, it's R A. R A W A, not R A O. Okay, um, so they can't even spell that right. Um, so Rawa and Quaim are up next, and uh, publicly to be completed. And uh, see here, D N O receives payments for uh, K R G's uh, crude oil deliveries in July. Okay, cool. It says uh, Iraqi war jets conduct strikes uh, to recapture Wawa. And they they put an H there. I'm not, you know, all the all the things I've seen is is R A W A, not nothing else. But whatever they 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 they, they will do whatever they want. Ah, uh, and Quaim District. Okay. Now remember, we were already shooting and launching missiles and doing all that stuff back in the springtime in these areas. So they're just repeating themselves again, and they're pretending that you don't remember. That's all they're doing. They they they're they're betting that you don't remember the springtime where they were talking about bombing uh, these uh, Qaim and Rawa and, and U.S. troops in those regions and and doing their things in those regions. They're betting that you don't remember that. <laughs> uh, so they're putting out the same stuff over again. Um, six months later, because that's when we usually give military information out. It's usually three to six months after we the, the job is completed. Um, okay, and then this is the other article about it. The Supreme Court to issue arrest warrant uh, for the president and members of the commission supervising the referendums in the Kurdistan region. Okay, and then also the Re uh, Refidian Bank issues international MasterCards to its clients. Okay, so Refidian Bank announced the issuance of one of the electronic payment tools, MasterCards, international staff, retirees, citizens, and other segments uh of society the bank has for the first time directed its branches to issue electronic payment the bank has for the first time directed its branches to issue electronic payments tools mastercard uh, which will are used inside and out of iraq and are acceptable in all atms connected to the network mastercard and uh, in, in addition to uh to points of sale uh, he pointed out that the advances of loans granted uh, to employees are through these cards, as well as settling their salaries electronically. There you go. So, uh, an Esra Rafidian Bank. Yeah. And, of course, uh, the Iraqis call it Rafadin Bank, right? The Rafadin Bank, right? I, say, I don't know why I say Rafidian. Because that's wrong, but it's Rafa Dean. I mean, of course, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I think there's a video on this as well. Yes, there is. There is a video on this. So let's check out this video. Uh, and it shows us more detail about it. Rafa Dean uh, Bank uh, transfers its system into mass uh, and introduces electronic payment tools to its customers. Awesome. Now, what about the Rashid Bank? I, I, we haven't heard anything about the Rashid Bank. The, the last four months has all been, been been about the Rafidian Bank. I don't know what the Rashid Bank is doing. Did they go bankrupt or something? <laughs> like, like uh, what, what happened to the Rashid Bank? I don't know. Let's see what's going on with this one. 
I got it turned up for you guys. Hold on. معظم البنايات تدمرت خاصة بالجانب الأيمن حساباتها عدنا لحد المليم لحد بعد التحرير عدنا فلاشاتها وعدنا معلوماتها موجودة لكن للأسف بعض من فروع الموصل عملت تحت سيطرة داعش وتم تحريك الحسابات احنا الآن تقريبا كملنا تدقيق حساباتها ومن فروع الموصل بعض المواطنين يقدمون طلبات ونعطيهم جزء من مستحقاتهم ولا خوف على أرصدة الزبائن كل زبون فلوس يمنه موجودة بأمان لدى الرافدي مديرة المصرف كشفت أيضا عن منح قروض لطلبة دراسات العليا والباحثين تصل إلى خمسة ملايين دينار الطلبة الباحثين والأساتذة والأساتذة المساعدين والمدرسين حتصير لهم وخاصة أنا أفضل الطالب الباحث الطالب الماجستير أو الدكتوراه يتدللون وخلي يجيني بس يقدم لي تأييد من جامعته يجوز الكفاءة الشخصية على أساس أنا هاي الفئة المثقفة عندنا يجوز على أساس الكفاءة الشخصية أنطيه إياه بدون كفالة وبالتزامن مع هذا التحديث فقد تم افتتاح عدد من فروع المصرف في المناطق المحررة فيما تنتظر نظيراتها في الموصل اكمال تدقيق الحسابات في عادة الافتتاح Alright, so that is the video on the Rafadin, Rafadin Bank and uh, going from, uh, from, the norm, from the old system into a new system of electronic payments tools for all its customers and all the salaries were going to be electronically um so this is good news for for a lot of people the dropping of the three zeros uh the atms uh all, all that stuff you know what i mean so this is big news here uh one of the biggest banks in iraq uh and and uh is uh going into the electronic payment tools i don't know about rashid bank uh because we haven't heard anything from rashid bank and I'm pretty sure they're copying what uh, the uh, Rafadin Bank does. So it would, should be the same thing on both ends. Um, but yeah, this is big news. Big news. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if we get some announcement from Alok about they're now ready to, to, to start making their moves towards the uh, dropping in the lower denoms. Okay, so let's, let's I hope that's the case. Uh, because Iraq is coming to, uh, Iraq is about to finish up the, the rest of the uh, Rawa and Qaim and a lot should be looking at the timing of that and saying, okay, we, we are, we're now all electronic, all payments are electronic. Now I'm going to start, now I'm going to drop at least one zero or two zeros or three zeros. And then, uh, one, by the time it gets to three plus the whole country, uh, you know, we will, we'll, we'll, we will announce the full liberation of Iraq and we'll be at three plus. So that's where we probably at with, with uh, the mindset of a lock right now, trying to figure out what timing is the best time to drop the zeros at least one or two or three zeros and uh and so you can time up with the full liberation of the country maybe being at three plus after that i don't know if that's the case of he's going to do but i know he's thinking about when is the right time to drop these three zeros and if i'm the imf i need to realize that they got these things done while they're in these while they're in these uh, central bank meetings that are going on uh, you know, they got this done while they're in that meeting. The next step, I want to see the IMF uh, come out and tell uh, tell the world that uh, yeah, that Alak is, uh, uh, Ishma I don't know his name. What is his, what is Alak's name? Uh, Ish Ishmael or something? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But Alak keywords, Ali Alak keywords uh, is, is the governor of the central bank. Okay, that's what I want to see this month. And that will that will tell us for sure that we're going to see the dropping of three zeros, right? That would tell us. Just like the, just like I, tell, I kept telling you guys years in advance that the oil and gas law will guarantee us the the, uh, the three zeros. It's the same thing, I believe, if, if the IMF announces a lock as the governor of central bank, that will guarantee, basically be a guarantee that we're going to see a three zeros because that means that they've seen something in him and he's done his job 
to then go and be able to go ahead and make history and, and, and fulfill biblical prophecy uh, of dropping the three zeros and returning Iraq to the international stage. Um, okay, so let's continue here. A body says that this year we'll see a happy end to the year to Iraq, and that's because they're going to be fully liberated and they're going to be in electronic banking. And they, hopefully by 1118, they have a new international rate and back on the international stage because many countries are waiting to start reconstruction in the first quarter of 2018. So they need to get in there and they need to have free capital flow with no restrictions. Um, we already talked about Rafferty Bank issues international MasterCards uh, to all its customers, and they're gonna all payments are now salaries are now electronically. Um, okay, uh, they announced the liberation of Hawaja. Yeah, we already know about that. It says 24 important Iraqi news headlines in the last 24 hours. Okay, I will post this for you guys to read. If you guys want to go through all 24 of those headlines, I will post it on Facebook for you guys to read. Okay, so let's finish it up here with the cryptos. Um, Bitcoin starting to move again here. About the, uh, it's five thousand. If it once it breaks five thousand, it's gonna probably go to fifty five hundred in a blink of an eye, maybe maybe fifty three hundred in a blink of an eye, maybe. The bulls will come in drastically. If the bulls, if, if most of the bulls are still waiting to come in for that break of five thousand, and when it breaks five thousand, the bulls will come in immediately and probably take it up to 5300 to 5500 in the, in the blink of an eye uh that could be the case but let's see it let's see it fight its way through here uh and break uh 5000 um let's see here ripple and, and the reason why is because segwit 2x not the bitcoin gold hard fork that's gonna be you're gonna make money off of that as well and i believe polonius and bitrex are going to have that because it's they they, they want you know they want coins that are going to have high transactions right so so they can get those fees so there will be no reason why bitrex and plenty don't have bitcoin gold knowing that it's a fork of bitcoin like they, like bitcoin cash and it's going to draw a lot of money and transaction fees are going to be are going to make them a lot of money for their for their company so i i would be shocked that they don't have bitcoin gold in their airdrop to us uh, that whole bitcoin in those wallets okay or those exchanges um so i'll we'll see what happens by the 25th on that and then bitcoin gold goes live on uh, on november 1st um but segwit 2x is going to go live after that uh, sometime in november we don't know the date yet and um and uh what do you call and that right now is it's a it's it's trading around like over a thousand dollars a coin so you can do the math right so if you hold 10 bitcoins in your wallets right now on coinbase or wherever else exodus wallet or whatever you have you're going to get 10 segwit 2x coins that are worth a thousand dollars right now that's ten thousand dollars in free money that's why people are moving into bitcoin not for really for the bitcoin gold because that's good, probably going to be a hundred to two hundred to three hundred dollars per coin which is still really good free money but the site with 2x is right down is trading at a thousand dollars on future markets so that that's that's crazy right so uh so imagine having 20 bitcoins and then getting 20 seg with 2x coins that's twenty thousand dollars right now, right? It could change by the time the the uh, the segment happens. It could be fifteen hundred per coin, right? So we don't, <laughs> you know, it could go down to five hundred per coin, right? Eight hundred per coin. Still, it's a lot of free money, uh, and that's why people are moving their money into Bitcoin. Um, Litecoin up a little bit here, and what people are doing is they're moving a lot of their money to Bitcoin, and then they're taking extra money or their paychecks and they're buying the altcoins which they think that are, that, that are hitting bottom or oversold okay so they, they moved a lot of money in the bitcoin and then they're taking extra money from their savings account checking account or paychecks and they're buying the altcoins that way okay so and then they'll see the you know the altcoins go up maybe 20 30 percent and guess what they're then shifting that money right into bitcoin okay because when you sell most of these alts it goes right back to bitcoin right so you're buying bitcoin every time you sell an altcoin that's uh, that's pegged to bitcoin okay so it uh miso go up at 9 12 good run there so now what people are going to do is people will see that the runs might be coming to an end for miso go here this nice big run and they're going to sell it and guess what they're going to go right back into bitcoin okay and, and they're going to wait for another dump of a miso go 
and then it could be maybe six bucks, five bucks, and then they'll grab some there and they'll put try to push it back up to nine and then they'll sell it again and they'll you know what I mean and they'll continue that. So once these coins are oversold, they'll come in and grab some, you know, maybe put five thousand in, 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 in one of these, make their twenty, thirty, forty, fifty percent, and then dump it back into Bitcoin to get to so they continue to stack their Bitcoin. That's what they're doing. Okay. Uh, me on the other hand, I, I'm not tr not trading right now. I'm just I, I'm I just stayed away from trading. Uh, salt's doing good, four bucks. Uh, I think a lot of people saw my video yesterday, and I said salt's going to be a good one by this time next year. We probably salt could easily be at three hundred bucks. So a lot of people say, wait a minute, let me at least grab some salt, and uh, I think that's what pushed the price up. Um, grab it, hodl it, and uh, let it go. Don't even worry about it, right? Um. And then come back next. Come back uh, by. Uh, come back in May and check the price. You might want to sell that before by May because you know summer times the prices of these coins, all coins, drop drastically. So you might want to cover your profits by May uh, in many of these coins. Uh, Avex is another good one, up seven percent. Attached to NEO. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Okay, one more in coin. I think that's it, guys and girls. I think we did a good. I think we did enough. Verge up nine percent. That's good uh, for those that are holding Verge. Digibyte up three percent. Byteball, Byteball bites <laughs> up ten percent. Uh, Bitcoin dark up a nine, uh, about nine percent. First coin down a little bit. Vertosium up eight uh, percent. Okay, so there you guys go. Uh, and ten X is a good one. I think ten X is going to be a really good one as well. Uh, Salt ten X Populous. Um, these coins that haven't really run are going to probably make massive runs after tax season. Uh, as soon as tax season begins, I think you're going to see coins like EOS, 10X, Salt, um, Populous uh, make their massive runs next year. Uh, I think they're keeping themselves for, for next year, which is good. You know, we got and also Miso Go and stuff like that. We're still waiting for the big news on the Miso Go in, in the fourth quarter. I think it's probably going to be somewhere between November. It's probably going to be after the fourth. Okay, I, I I wouldn't put out big news now. In my opinion, I just wouldn't do it until after the fourth. Okay, so if they were going to put out big news now, I wouldn't do it until after the fourth, where people can pay more attention to you. So even if they had big news out that that, that are about to sign, I wouldn't put it out until after the second the bitcoin gold fork and then the segwit 2x fork let the forks go by and then you then you know people have a lot of extra money because they just got some f two new forks that they now they can they have free more money and then put your news out and let people run into your coin that's how i would do it if i'm a miso go i wouldn't put any big news out until you no know, after the fork is over in november um and then i'll put the news out and then i'll I'll let the stock, uh, you know, the coin run like crazy late November into December, uh, just like Ethereum did. Remember, Ethereum ran, you know, late November into December, into January, February, March, April, May. You know, it ran massively from five bucks. We called it at five fifty. I think it was five dollars, five fifty. I called it on this channel. I think it was this channel. I, it was either this channel or the main channel. I can't remember, but we called it right here. And it, you know, from no, I think it was November all the way to May. Went all the way from five bucks all the way to five four hundred and thirty bucks. I mean, so I'm, I'm looking at Omiso Go, and I'm like. Don't bring that news out until late November. After the forks, bring the news out. Maybe you join Coinbase. Maybe you're, uh, you know, have a massive deal with Google, and and you know, and maybe you have a a two hundred billion dollar deal with Google or something. And bring that news out at the end, uh, by you know the uh, third week of or fourth week of November, and then let your coin just massively run all in the May. And uh, and and a lot of you guys will not miss this one. Like you guys, some of you guys missed Ethereum. A lot of you guys didn't miss Ethereum. A lot of you guys made six figures off Ethereum, and you told me about it. So, um, so hopefully, Miso Go is another one that you guys will be able to run all the way into May and uh, and see that four or five hundred dollar value, like like you did for Ethereum, and uh, be able to make even another six figures again. Okay, and we can every year we can try to find one of those key ones that can go from november to may uh and make you guys uh you know big six figure seven figure uh, money so 
that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's it for me. Enough talking. Eyes open. I'm, I think I'm done for the day. I got a bunch of videos out already. And uh, I'll, maybe not. I think I have one more video to do. And if I do, it will be on the main channel. And uh, I think I have to review uh, an ICO. So, anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye. God bless.